Well, if you are gluten sensitive, there may be a local solution for you. A bakery on the Boise bench is local all the way around with bread as natural as it gets. Tammy, you got to go there and kind of talk to them about how they do it. I did. It was really fun. Me and my photographer, Teresa, we went to Gaston's Bakery. They use three ingredients in the loaf bread, just three, local wheat, sea okay. salt, and water. Wow. The bakery's owner, Matthew Shu, says it's important to keep it fresh and simple. Take a look. Gaston's, I actually named the bakery after my grandpa. And the logo is my grandpa on his bike. Everything started here with Olivier at the mixer. So we mix, we started, we mix everything from scratch every day. On this side here is where we do all the bread mixing and shaping. So once, once everything is shaped, it goes in those, on those racks. And from there, it goes in the ovens. We made a starter, so there's no yeast. We made a starter with that wheat and water that we got started quite a while ago. And that's what we use for our leavening. Once, once the bread is baked, comes here. This is our good friend Sam. Uh, and now this, this is the meal. So that's, that's the exciting part. It's called a unifying meal, high impact meal. So we, we're milling everything in one pass. So everything is whole wheat, whole milled. And then we sift. Uh, a little bit of it to make it very fine to use it in breads. So, so here, those are some uh, rustic ciabatta. That's another dough that we retard overnight. And then it's not shaped, it's just cut. We cut it with a dough knife and then put it on those, on those cushions here, on those boards. Uh, and then that will, well, that will rest another hour like that and then go in the oven. This is a, it's our pastry room. We do a couple other things, but mostly croissants. Uh, that's what we're good at. Yeah, so all those are made 100% butter. So same thing, we make the dough the night before, and then we shape it the following day, and then bake it the following night. Did you learn how to do that? Uh, I learned in France, and then just by, I'm very curious. And uh, so I've, we're always learning, and especially now that we're starting to mill, we try different types of wheat, and we're, that's what we do with our downtime. We're always trying to learn something new. There's more and more of a following for what we do. And we've been doing the same thing for 15 years, but it seems like more and more people are excited about buying local wheat, local flowers, bread, knowing what's in their product, which is a biggie for us. It tastes great, it's good for the local economy, good for the environment. I mean, there's so many advantages to it that it really makes sense for bakeries our size or smaller to really try to mill your own flour. It's more complicated, but I think it's definitely worth it. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. And Gaston's Bakery makes flour every morning too, as you heard him say. And everything is fresh daily, so whatever is not sold is donated. Mm. And again, Gaston's is mostly wholesale, but you can find the breads in some cafes and restaurants. You can also find them at the co-op. It was really? really fun. And oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. It too. looks.